Welcome everybody to a hotel tour. Today's hotel, today's featured hotel is the Hampton Inn, Strawberry Plains, Tennessee, a suburb of Knoxville, Tennessee, right off I-40. My first impressions are very nice. Let's go inside. Very nice parking lot surrounded by RVs. For some reason. Let's go in. The door, the door says, hello. You come in, just some, oh, here's a map of Knoxville. I don't know where this is, but it's in a place called Strawberry Plains, which is a suburb of it. But you continue on and go in. You have your luggage carts on the right and then to the left. You have your lobby sitting area, which includes a, um, what should we call it, couch, two chairs, LG flat screen TV. And out the window you see our Ultima. You have your directory. And over here you have the very nice spacious breakfast area, which I'll be eating breakfast at in the morning. There is the front desk with good staff. Nice chairs, phone, this is the breakfast serving area, which has a free continental breakfast, and over here you have the sweet shop, which has lots of things to choose from if you're hungry. And then you ask the front desk right through this window if you if you can get it. Quite an array, quite an array of candies, drinks, and dinners. When you continue on, you come to the business center, which I gotta say is one of the best I've ever seen. Inside the business center is very air conditioned, like cooler than the lobby, with two fancy Dell computers. In the middle you have a um, printer slash scanner slash copier cabinets, and then is big. A lot of a lot of them, a lot of the business centers are really cramped and stuff. This one is not cramped. Over here you have some of the other amenities for the business center that you might need to use for business. When you continue down the hall, you have some brochures, public restrooms, and drinking fountains. Right across from that, you have the 24-hour open indoor pool, which I will go swimming in in about an hour or so. We drove eight hours to get here. And you have a water fountain, table, chairs, and towels to use. It is three feet at the shallowest and five feet at the deepest. You know how in pools like you see waves a lot and like you can't stop them? This one there are absolutely no waves at all. Like at all. You know like this must use like some special technology or something. And then when you do make waves it is absolutely equal like equal ripples. It's pretty cool. We'll go out this door. Right here you have two leather chairs and you have a vacant meeting room which is locked. I already tried. Here you have the fitness center which is open from 6 a.m. to 12 midnight. Should just make it 24 hours. Like the pool. Inside the fitness center you have an elliptical, two treadmills, a bike, some paper towels, and you have some. You have a multi-use weight machine. You also have a scale, sweat towels, and television. Now we'll go up to room three oh seven. 
of this five floor Hampton Inn. Sorry for any shaking. That might be there. There's another way out. These are two kind of eco space elevators. We'll get on this one and head up to level three. One R is locked because that's the um, housekeeping place. They're fast, but you can't really tell that we're, we're moving because we're already here. But I couldn't really tell it's moving at all. Those um, I like. That's why I like Coney elevators. Now we'll come down here to room 307, and my mom and sister will get out. Now we'll wait for them to get out, and we will start out the room tour. And the time, I've, I still have 10 more minutes for this video. When I go downstairs and start down there, the timing does really good. I'll end with a view from the fifth floor, if we have time. When you enter the room, you have a nice space for any of your luggage. Very spacious. And you have a mirrored closet which we will now open. Inside you will find space for your clothes, iron, ironing board, a little thing to put in your, your bags, and hangers. Now we'll close it up. Right here you have a little area with a micro fridge, safe plug, mini fridge which opens from this side. It has three it has two little places with a drawer on the bottom and three shelves on the door. It even has a very nice freezer compartment, which is quite big. Here you have a micro fridge, safe plug, microwave. Nice. And on top you gotta have your cups and ice bucket. You continue on, you have a place to put your suitcase and any other things that you wish. You continue on from that, you have your chest with a um, little area and 30 inch LG flat screen television with a game controller that you can pay extra for to have a game service. I don't know what kind, but it says LodgeNet on it. I don't know what kind of game system they make. Okay. You continue on, you have a chair that didn't used to have that lap desk on it. it. used to be right here. Very comfortable. Here you have a waste slash trash can, your key case, and this hotel does include the Hilton H Honors, which is good. And over here, this surprised me because this is a very big work desk with mirror. It is very large with regular office chair. Right here you have the climate control unit which is a GE and is controlled by a thermostat on the wall. Let's get a view out towards the parking lot. We have some competitor hotels around here. You have, you have like a Days Inn, Motel 6, Econo Lodge, which are not going to really compete because they're not good hotels. But the main competitor that I'm talking about over there, Holiday Inn Express. We normally stay at um, Hampton Inns or Hilton Hotels. We have the Hampton Inn beds that have these special mattresses. Like I don't know if you can tell, but you see how it's kind of wrinkly and stuff. We didn't make it. We didn't make it like that, but it has like these little bumps in it that make it really comfortable. This is my mom and my sister's bed. This, is, this will be my bed over here, which is the same. You have two lamps and a nightstand with standard hotel alarm clock with your music settings. And your standard hotel telephone, thought pad, and other things. You have some space down here. And in this drawer, you have a little card and the Holy Bible.
There is your wall-mounted thermostat. In the bathroom, you have a hair dryer that does not work. You have a towel that looks like it's a bow, that looks like it's a tie. You have your toiletries that you might have forgotten, Kleenex, in-room coffee and coffee maker, and standard hotel sink. Very nice. Right here we have a shower. That's a water pick and bathtub, but I can't really, I don't, I haven't figured out how to turn it on. I don't know how to do it. It's plastic it's and hollow, which disappoints me. That might be a ceramic. You have a Vimis toilet, and for all you toilet fans, we flush the toilet. That's it for the bathroom. Now I'll go get a view from the fifth floor. Now we will head up to the fifth floor. Hopefully these elevators will get here fast. It's only like four more minutes. Yep. Now we'll head up to level five. This one doesn't have the one R. That's why it's not double-sided. Bye, son, that sign says. I don't know why. Look at the indicator. We're already at five. Like I said, I couldn't really tell if we're moving, but we're already here at five. Watch the door open. And there is your ice and vending as it is on all floors. Now, sorry for all the shaking as I run down to the window. <laughs> you give you the RVs and place like where you unload and stuff. Now, we still have time, so we'll go all the way down to the other window. <laughs> It's a very long but non, not wide hotel. There you have the Econo Lodge, which shouldn't compete with this place. McDonald's, lots of gas stations. I see a Super 8 motel down there. More RVs. Outback Steakhouse. And that looks to be it. So. Take a look at the key card. It won't focus unless I press a button. So, that's it.